Alright guys, welcome back to the next episode of Silent Hill Metamorphosis. Uh, we left off with me being confused by this puzzle. And we are starting off with me still being confused by this puzzle. I probably remember it even less now. But it's not a hard one, right? Where's the door. Where's the lock at? Uh, five beds are arranged in two rows. One of the droppers was a white piece of paper. But one of us is gone. Secret ward on the third floor. Man, I don't was the lock on this door? Also, no. I don't remember what is going on. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. So it's Taurus. No, it's Cancer Cancer. Which should be 4-4. Four, four. Aries is 5. No. So it should be Cancer. Cancer Cancer Aries. So 4-4-2. Four, four, cancer Cancer Aries. Taurus. So four four two one. And then Pisces and Gemini. Pisces is six and Gemini is three. But see that's not right. So four four two one four four two one six three. So no, yeah, that's wrong. The other one is three three five six. One four three three five six one four. Also wrong. Six six two one four three. Okay, I got it. I figured it out. That took that took way too long. Let us see what is in this room. It better be good. I've taken way too long trying to figure this out. I'm sick of it. Oh, there's a person. Oh, my headphones. There was a bed in the middle of the room, and an old woman was lying on a dirty mattress, covered with a blanket. I noticed with horror that her eyes were gouged out. Is she... On the chair, laying the familiar key to the director's office. Oh. What about the woman, though? I was about to leave when suddenly... Oh, God. From the side of the bed came a quiet, barely audible voice. I can hear you. There's someone here. Come closer, child. Do not be afraid. That's when you should be afraid. I will not harm you. I am completely immobilized. My miserable existence is supported by this dropper. What? What happened to you? Oh, my child, I can hear from your voice that you have a kind heart. I can't be here anymore. I cannot bear the torment, can't stand the experiments anymore. I beg you, help me. End it all. End it all right now. The woman sobbed mournfully. Streams of fresh blood poured from her mutilated eye sockets. What should I do? I think, I think this would be the nice thing to do. 
it's what she wants and I think it is what the right thing to do would be is to just pull out the dropper. I hesitated for a moment then took a step forward and yanked the catheter out of the woman's hand. The patient stopped breathing and suddenly the skin felt cracking from the woman's face, her body thrashed in violent convulsions. Come on. The blanket began to move. Dozens of disgusting spiders began to get out. Well, I made a mistake, I guess. Moments later, the hospital bed became a swarm, swarming nest of spiders. Spiders ate the flesh of the paralyzed woman. In horror, I jumped out of the room and slammed the door. Well, let's not do that again, please. What did I get? I got a, a key, didn't I? So we'll just... It was the director's office, wasn't it? I went inside. Yeah, it was the director's office. Cool. The director's office was empty, except for the iron grate at the end of the room. Between the forged rods, the outline of a staircase was guessed. Yeah, I guessed that. Very good. Secret entrance to the basement. I threw back the grate and went inside. No one should be that happy about a secret entrance into a basement, like ever. That is just straight danger. Everyone knows that. At the last moment, I glanced up. God, Eve, where are you going? The girl took a deep breath. I must move on. The solution is close. I can feel it. Eve's spirit was filled with determination. It's recommended to save the game. I can do that. I can do that. Where are we going? It's just dark. I went down an endlessly long staircase and found myself in pitch blackness. Sorry, I have a bit of a cold. So if I sound weird or the video jumps around, that is why. It's because I feel like hell. Anyway, an orange dot flashed somewhere ahead. As I got closer and closer, I noticed a blur of light and Jeremy's figure. No, no, no does not work. Nothing works. He didn't seem to notice me. Everything went according to plan. Strictly according to plan. White, schism, obsidian goblet, book of the crimson ceremony, but nothing works. It doesn't work at all. This island in the middle of Toluca Lake, it does not exist. It does not exist. God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What? Shaking with sobs, Jeremy clutched his head. His left hand was hidden in shadow. Oh, it's you again. The man turned his gaze towards Eve. Have you come to mock me? Make fun of me? I immediately assumed you were... kind of a bitch. Jeremy, what have you done? What have you done? I know about your brother's death. Brother. Yes, brother. Vincent. My brother. Eve, I didn't want to do this, I swear. Every evening, falling asleep, I saw him lying in the grave, lonely, frozen with cold, in a terrible wooden box. How awful and unfair it is. I didn't mean... I just couldn't... Oh my god, Jeremy, what have you done? The man took a few steps into the center of the light source. Oh. His left arm was wrapped in some kind of leather strap, and at the other end... A mutilated, rotten corpse trailed after Jeremy. The end of the strap was tied to the broken neck. Shock, Eve considered her mouth with covered her mouth with hands. My poor Vincent. It was very cold there. I didn't want to leave him alone. Now we are always together. We are always with each other. But the damn island is missing. It doesn't exist. The acrobat suddenly burst out laughing. You condemn me? I see. You condemn me. So funny. Tell me about something, Eve. 
What is the size of the strangulation groove after suffocation? I don't know. I have no idea. Rumors say that you're the pro at this. How dare you. I... The iron floor trembled under my feet. Before I could make a sound, I fell into the bottomless darkness. The pit of darkness? I don't know. I refused to look ahead. My eyes mechanically registered a terrible picture. Ooh, no. What are those? Jeremy and Vincent's bodies began to deform. Blood flew in all directions. Huge spider legs began to burst from the flesh of the acrobats. Oh. They turned into a little spider monster thing. It's time for the final show. Take your seats. Uh, health drink. Because I'm not very low right now. Circus flyer. I pulled out a flyer with a photo of the circus troop and showed it to the monster. Jeremy burst into tears of rage and began stabbing Vincent's body. The acrobat grabbed the flyer and tore it to pieces. Item removed from inventory. There is no point in this. There is no point in this. There is no point in this. Okay. Rifle does a lot of damage. I drew my rifle, took aim, and fired a shot. We're just gonna try to take him out. Because I really don't think the spider poured poisonous liquid forward, followed by a powerful blow from Jeremy. Ah. He received heavy damage. Actually, that wasn't that bad. No, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. I need to heal, I need to heal. Can I go back? Is there a back? There's not a back. Rifle, I guess. This is incredibly effective. Poisonous liquid, heavy blow, low health. Uh, first aid kit. Huh, that did not help as much as I thought it would. I thought it fully s restored. Back to the rifle. This is incredibly effective. Poisonous liquid. Ah, damage. Heavy damage. Health drink. Rifle. Fire the rifle. I know I sound very mundane, but this is just how I play turn-based games, because it's not like there's any, like, thing I could really do about any of this. You know? It's just attack, heal, attack, you know? I feel like he should be pretty close, though. I used all of my rifle ammo on him. I don't know how strong he is, but I feel like I should be pretty close. Heavy damage. Use health drink. Use weapon. I feel like the shotgun is the next heavy damage weapon that I have. Wrapped a leather strap around Eve's neck and began to choke her. But am I okay? Eve received severe damage. Ah, and then he died. Jeremy screamed and fell to the floor. I jumped closer and stuck the blade of the knife into the acrobat's throat. Eve. Which eth breath with each breath, blood spilled from Jeremy's throat. If you want to get to the amusement park, follow the light of Lighthouse. The man twitched in convulsions, and after a while calmed down. Okay, so we just gotta follow the lighthouse. I came to my senses. Suddenly, I heard the demanding cry of the baby again. Hands shaking and wet with blood, I took the plastic doll out of my pocket. No. No, it can't be. A doll with the Adam's name was wrapped in a bloody umbilical cord. The baby's face was blue-gray. He had clearly died of suffocation. The doll did? No, it's not true. Adam, I... Nurse's voice from the payphone sounded in my head. This is the hospital. Head nurse Foster is calling. Congratulations, you have mono... Coronic... Monomaniac twins. It is necessary to contact Dr. Shi for consultation. I repeat, it is necessary to contact Dr. Shi for consultation. This is urgent.
Big brother, what have I done? Eve collapsed to her knees, in powerless despair. It seems like the common theme here, in this Silent Hill, is that all these people here have done terrible things to a sibling that have either killed them directly or gotten them killed. Or maybe it's just someone they love. So I think that old woman just killed like a dog or something. Or was just mean to a dog. Why can't I hear the siren sounds? Am I still inside the bloody hell? What if I'm stuck here forever? Now if you just go to sleep, you usually wake up where you need to be. I've noticed. 